If you look at those two teeth, you'll notice that one tooth looks bigger and the other tooth really, really small. Do you have braces and puffy gums? Time for some PFO so you know where you're going. Today we're talking about you folks who have braces and or Invisalign and have really puffy gums. You started the treatment, your gums were like all pretty before and now you got the braces on and boom, the gums get inflamed, they're red and they get puffy and they kind of look like they're starting to spread out over your braces and you're just kind of freaking out. What is happening? What's happening to me? We're gonna talk a little bit about that today. Before we get to talking about gums as they relate to braces, Let's just talk about gums in general. First off, there actually is a gum specialist in the dental field. They're called periodontists. In case you were wondering, gums are an important part of our oral health. Gums can be different colors, different thickness. Depending on where we're at, we definitely want to maintain good gum health in order to maintain good oral health, right? We want our teeth to last for a really long time, so you need good gums. A lot of people see puffy gums with braces, and we're gonna get to that. Some folks, without even getting braces, just have what we consider, or what they look like, small teeth. The reality is, if you were to visit a periodontist, or maybe talk to your dentist about it, they might be able to tell you whether or not you have actually small teeth or you have excess gum tissue that could be removed, increasing the size of your teeth. So it's not that they're actually increasing the size. They can't, can't make your tooth bigger. But sometimes individuals have excess gum tissue that didn't kind of move into a more adult position. Young kids, they have small teeth or what look like small teeth and gums there. But then over time, as the permanent teeth come in, the gum tissue raises up. And so you get to see more teeth and less gum. So for you, you might consider visiting with the periodontist is to discuss, hey, is there excess gum tissue here that if I remove will lead to more what we call tooth show or showing teeth? It can have a great cosmetic effect and influence how you feel about your smile. So it's a great option you might consider. Okay, so now two major reasons why you get puffy gums while in orthodontic treatment. One is you've got all the brackets placed on all the teeth. Now it's like really hard to keep your teeth clean. So what happens is that the food, it gets stuck around the brackets. Gums can get really inflamed. That means bright red and they can get puffy and they can bleed. And that is regularly associated with poor oral hygiene, not keeping your teeth clean. And so the gums get all puffy. And in fact, once they get puffy and they start, it's really hard to get them to go back to normal. Another reason why sometimes gums get puffy, common reason, as you go through your orthodontic treatment, if you have spaces, a lot of spaces in between your teeth, or maybe you took out teeth because you were so crowded and now you're trying to close the space, oftentimes that gum tissue right there will it's gotta go somewhere, right? Cause you're squeezing the teeth down and the gums were there before. And so the gums usually come out to the front and to the back. Those are two very common reasons why folks that are going through orthodontic treatment get puffy gums. Some other reasons, perhaps less common, would be some sort of allergy to the nickel in the metal braces or sometimes your medications. Again, not very common. Certain medications can lead to a puffiness in the gums. Those are the reasons why we're gonna discuss here why you might get puffy gums during orthodontic treatment. The best way to try and prevent that is by taking care of your teeth. You've got to, got to, got to brush and not just check out our other video about brushing, how to brush your teeth. This video is for the individual who responded on our channel and asked about gums and is there anything you can do to get the gums to go to more normal. So that procedure that the periodontist will do for you on a general scale, meaning they might go from like all the way across to make the teeth look bigger. It's called a gingivectomy. So for those of you who are going through orthodontic treatment, let's say you're just finishing up and you did a pretty good job, or maybe your gums got a little bit puffy, the orthodontist might say, okay, let's get out of the braces, let's get into retainers, and let's take a break and let's see what happens. Sometimes your gums will, will revert back to a more normal condition, not so puffy, not red, more pink, we want pink. You might be happy with the way that all of your teeth look and gums look. Like we mentioned at the beginning, sometimes you can still have excess gum tissue that if you remove through a gingivectomy, it can make your smile look really, really nice. Excess tissue is not the only thing that makes a smile less cosmetic. Asymmetric gum tissue. So I know some nice periodontists, Dr. Tatum and Dr. Chang in McKinney. So if you're interested and you see these images, you're like, wow, that's what I want. I check them out. Puffy gums, as you can see in these 
pictures. First off, puffy gums can be less cosmetic. Then, as you can see in this image, notice that the canine on one side, all right, that's the third tooth from the right. If you look at those two teeth, you'll notice that one tooth looks bigger and the other tooth really, really small. That's because the gum tissue is so far down. Asymmetry. There's a certain position of the gum tissue that makes a smile look very cosmetic. What we want to see is we want to see the height of the tissue here at the canine match the height of this central incisor and this one all the way over to this canine right here. And then these lateral incisors, the gum height there, should be a little bit down, not at the same height as those teeth right here. So symmetry in the gums and more teeth showing help improve the cosmetics of the smile. And so if you're finishing up with braces, this is a great example. This individual went and got the gingivectomy during orthodontics, which sometimes we recommend that you do after orthodontics because if poor oral hygiene is the reason why you had puffy gums in the first place and you're not finished with your braces, if you do the procedure, the gingivectomy, and they should look all pretty and you can't take care of your teeth because you still got the braces on, then the gums might come back and you have to do the procedure again. So not that you can't do it during orthodontic treatment with your braces, but you might consider holding off to the very end if possible. Okay, but this person got their gingivectomy done during or with their braces on, but just notice the difference here. Now you can see more teeth across the front, just really improves the smile. So it's not that they grew the tooth or anything, they just took the gums and they moved them up a level. They removed part of it so that you see more tooth. And if you go back to what we were looking at before, you compare the canine on one side, which was really big compared to the other one. Now you can see them very well and notice the symmetry from the canine to the canine and the central incisors. And then the lateral incisors, you can note that the level, the height is a little bit lower. So you see less of the lateral incisors and that's and that's the way it should be. That's what we think looks the best. So we reviewed a lot of different things. We, were, we talked about gum tissue, the importance that it is for oral health. We've talked about reasons why you can get puffy gums. We talked about what we consider the ideal to be with gum tissue. We want certain levels, we want symmetry, we want to see more teeth. We don't like gums that are too far down and make your teeth look really small. And then we talked about as it relates to braces and why you might get puffy gums. And then we showed you an example of what it can look like if you go through the procedure. It can make your smile look awesome. For those of you who are finishing with braces or just have small teeth and want to improve your smile even more, you might consider visiting your local periodontist to see if you're a candidate for what we call the gingivectomy. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel so that I can open your eyes to the wonderful world of straight teeth, some gingivectomies for that dazzling Zoolander smile. I don't know, does he even have a good smile? That's all I've got, just a little PFO, so you know where you're going. Packard, 